Hello, today we're going to use dome star connectors to build a two frequency geodesic dome. All you need are wooden joists, bolts, and the dome star connectors. You can create a dome of any size by varying the length of the joists. For a frequency two dome, you will need two different joist lengths. I use the table available on the website. I marked the correct measurements on the joists and start my 65 cuts. I also advise you to mark on your cut joists whether they are A, small, or B, large. Now, you'll need to drill your joist 4 centimeters from both ends for the bolts. As there are 130 holes to make, I've prepared a drilling template to save me time and help me be more precise. We're going to fit 130 bolts in the drilled holes. To fit the bolts, I'd advise you to turn your joists over in relation to the hole you've drilled. This way, the screw will come out in the center of the joist, as this is where it will be screwed to the connectors. Let me introduce the dome star connectors. There are 10 4-branch connectors, 6 5-branch connectors, and 10 6-branch connectors. I'd like to draw your attention to the holes closest to the center. There are small holes and large holes. This is a very important indication. On the small holes, we're going to install the small joists, and on the large holes, we're going to install the large joists. There are two different four-branch connectors, and they're not compatible. Be very careful. This one has the small hole on the left-hand branch, and this one has the small hole on the right-hand branch. You have five like this and five like that. I'd advise you to sort them out from the start so you don't make any mistakes. The one with six branches has two small holes on the sides and four large holes. You can't just put them any old way. It's important to be careful and to put them the right way round. And here we are at the first stage, the base. We're going to need 10 large B pillars and 10 four branch connectors. As I said, there are two types of four branch connectors, so don't mix them up. Screw each connector into a large B post. Now, we're going to lay these 10 joists on the floor, alternating the 4-1 and 4-2 connectors. I'll explain what I mean by alternating. Here you can see that there's a small hole. Here in this branch, there's a large hole. And here we have a small hole. And here the big hole. Now we're going to screw the 10 connectors and joists together. This brings us to stage two. Step two is to assemble the bottom triangles. To do this, we're going to need 10 large B pillars and five six branch connectors. Be careful with the six branch connectors. We're going to use the large hole pins. So not like this, but like this. You see here, 
I've got the big holes. I'm going to place these five large triangles in the base, making sure that the connectors face downwards and that the triangles face the connectors with the large holes. Don't make any mistakes here. I'll attach this large triangle to the base on the two connectors with the large holes. Then, skip a connector and put the next triangle in. For this step, we're going to need five five-branch connectors and ten small A-pillars. It's very simple. The five-branch connectors only have small holes, so you can't go wrong. And this is what your dome looks like now. We'll take this opportunity to check that the little triangles are facing the little holes. For example, this is a small triangle with a five branch connector. And I've got a small hole here. And a small hole here. Step 3, we're going to take 10 small A-pillars, place them in the center of the dome and screw them onto the lower triangles. Here we are at stage 4, where we're going to assemble the high triangles. On my left, I've put 5 small A-pillars and on my right, 5 large B-pillars. And we're going to need 5 6-branch connectors. Remember, on the six branch connectors, there are legs for large joists and others for small joists. So we're going to put the small hole towards the small joists and the large hole towards the large joists. Don't get it wrong. Small hole, small joist. Large hole, large joist. To assemble these high triangles, I have a small A pillar and a large B pillar. So you have to be careful, because on this high belt you really can make mistakes. The five leg connectors can take the small joist. The six leg connectors can take the large joist. Small post A equals small hole. Large post B equals large hole. In step 5, we're going to finish off the high triangles. To do this, I need 5 large B-pillars. We're going to screw these large joists to the legs left free on the middle belt and the top of the high triangles. Step 6, we're going to make the high belt. For this, I only need 5 large B-pillars. We're going to screw them to the top connectors. At last, we've reached the 7th and final stage. For this, I'll need the last 5 branch connector and the last 5 small A-pillars. I start by screwing this connector to a small A post and this one to a connector on the high belt. Then I do the same for the last four small A pillars.
Now, finally tighten all the screws and enjoy your geodesic dome. See you soon.